Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Train and we are currently doing a run in with the Woken Hellhorned clans and we are at level 3 right now. I thought we we're going to be a little bit further than what we are we should have been, but I've been just trying to explain in the game a little bit uh what's going to what's going on, what the mechanics and all that. So this time I think we're going to just pick up the pace a little you know just a little the first episode was just all about like explaining what things do um there might be still of that going forward or going downwards i should say uh but right now i think um i'm still torn about these um i'm trying to think uh if we if we can get this guy to be a, more of a damage dealer then it would be very nice then again, we get a free unit and we can duplicate something. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, duplicating this... Uh, yeah, know what? Uh, let's, let's go left. I feel like let's go left. So this one. Uh, and we're going to duplicate you. Yeah, there we go. We got two of them now because of the upgrades. So it's what's nice is about the duplication or the hell vent is if you get a car to like be proper damage, you know, let's say if this one was a little bit more uh, potent then it would make sense to go ahead and duplicate this card. But uh, yeah, this was not really in the cards for us to do that. But I feel like having these cost nothing and do 10 damage instead of like costing one damage only two. Uh, I feel like we got to get rid of two of these torches because we have these guys now. I think like that's that's going to be the thing. And let's go ahead and choose. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, well, we can get another one of these guys. Um which can be on another floor a little bit more tanky. Um, but we could get this one. You know, just to play around a little. It's not gold framed or anything. So, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and take that one. More more cards, the, like, better. We have a better chance. And we can also maybe purge two train stewards along with two torches. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what's in the concealed caverns. Reveal to me your secrets. Ooh, okay, okay. I, I know this one. Um, so there are three things we can choose from. So we can get the um, Rail Forge Hammer, which increases the capaci capacity of all the floors. Um, we can get a book. So we're getting three artifacts out of this. We get a hammer, a book, and a locket. So the hammer will increase the capacity of each floor by one. The manual will increase, increase the capacity three to each or to a random floor and a locket will minus the capacity but the spell power spell power is just basically spell damage like plus 15 to all your spells um but i feel like we can uh, the hammer would be a little bit better because like we can then try to squeeze and then our capacity will go from five to six so we can actually um get the sentient the animus of will and the sweeper in and we can put the animus of wool in the back, the sentient in the center, and the sh sh um, shell in the front. Or anyway, whatsoever. Like, uh, it's sure, whatever. So, and that means we can have three train stewards on a floor. Um, the spell power is interesting, but I think we're going to go with the hammer. Yep, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, for the freebie. And uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is the um, next big boss we're going to take on. Uh, we can't do anything here. What it will do is if an enemy dies, it will do damage to the frontmost unit. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what's, what's going to go, what's going to happen. And he has this ball. Uh, if we don't kill the ball, it will deal 10 damage to the frontmost unit. And these guys are... Hmm. So these guys, if they die... If we can somehow kill them. Maybe, if we do this... So, she's gonna take 15 damage, because 5, 10, 15. Um, if we do this, this... And then that, and then have this one in the back. 
So we're going to take four damage, but we will be able to get that back. And why I want to do that is because I want to get this um, holdover rolling. Okay. So let's end turn. Luckily, we have some direct damage to take care of that ball. Uh, which is not going to affect us at this stage. Um, so what we can do is have the sweeper in between. Do we want that? Um, yeah, because we don't want this one to take damage. Uh, she's not upgrade or anything. It's just a little nice thing to pick off any small creatures in the back. So what you can do is this. Um, and let's go ahead and heal. It will deal outright damage to the frontmost one. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. And we want this guy to go and kill these guys. Um, so he can get his damage stacks up. There we go. Right. So. Here we are. We can go ahead and... Heal back up. And... Heal again. What we can do is... No, we're not going to do this. What we can do is just... This dude... With some armor. Because he will be protected. And now we're doing outright 38 damage because of this. Yeah, take that, punk. Okay. I'm gonna take... 24 damage, but what we can do is that. And we have to use this. Do that. And why the hell not? Let's go ahead and just, you know, boop you for five. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna only take 10 damage, but this guy is gonna kill them and he's gonna gain his stacks. Now we can go ahead and heal back up. And torch this one. And do this. I should have put you in the these two in the back of this one because now the other one's in the center. Oh, okay, that's fine. And the final way, this means it's relentless mode. Uh, what we can do now is we can go ahead and say regen sure do this and cast this on you that and that there we go dead dead as doorknob i guess dead very dead yes okay so now comes a very in in interesting um choice is do we want the okay we'll just collect our money open up a rare pack and then the other things well we'll do, go through this um now this is good this is a very good card because quick means you attack before like if you guys have seen the enemies attack first then us but what quick does it will actually uh enable a creature to attack of ours first before the enemy so i feel like this is a very good card to have although it does have consume on it um maybe down the line we can you know remove the consume or whatnot uh yeah let's go and do that oh ho, ho, ho. now this i like this i do like now this is a very powerful unit except for its health it's not good um but for one uh one mana cost two capacity we get a horned warrior which does multi strike so it does damage 15 times two so it's 30 damage to an enemy um this guy steel worker resolve i think it triggers after each um uh combat phase it will give a friendly unit apply five armor to friendly units uh, and then demon features outright 50 50 
Don't give a crap, just die. <laughs> um, I feel like... Ooh, these are so, so good. But this is just a little bit too expensive out of our way. So I feel like the steel worker, we can put him on the top part um, with a couple of train stewards and he will go and just give um, armor to the train stewards. I think that is the best thing to do at this stage. Although we can keep this guy alive though. With his multi strike and just give him health. But like if anything does more than five damage, he's out. You know, he's, he's dead. So I feel like we're trying to stay alive. This is what we want to do now. Here comes this uh, major enhancement. We can get extra um, ember. We can draw an uh, extra card. Or we can get more floor capacity. As of now, I don't think capacity is our, is our liberty factor. I feel like we. I want to draw more cards. To get our things running a little bit better. Um, extra ember would be nice. We don't have any, anything that costs X. So, uh, yeah, and there's nothing, like, stupid expensive for us. So, I feel like let's go with this. We draw an extra card each turn. And that's that's that. Ooh, artifact. And we can purge as well. We can gain some health back. Money. Uh, Hellhorn. I feel like we're going to go right. Because we want the health. We are down a little. So, let's get some health. Uh, we purge a couple, two cards. Uh, we get a random artifact and we can go and upgrade our champion. Let's go ahead this way. First of all, we are going to purge uh, one torch and one train steward. One torch and one train steward. Just to. The whole idea why you want to do this is keep your deck as small as possible to draw the cards you need as quickly as possible. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves back up to health. And what do we get? Um, okay, so, uh, we can have all the enemy units have one less damage, which is not bad. Or, when you play a spell, the spells in the hand that cause less are reduced to zero for each, for the turn. Uh, that is interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less. Well, we don't really have anything, like... The spells we have all cost one. So it's not a, our biggest issue. I feel like winged indulgence, you know, get them fat and nice so they attack slower so they do less damage. Well, why not? Let's try that. Don't really play with that thing, but uh, yeah. Um, well, I think let's go down the explosive route. The explosive sentient bold is a thing. Now, now we deal 40 damage instead of, like, what was it, 20? So 40 damage is a decent number. Um, cultivate. Unit of the loss of by cultivate value. Yeah, I think let's go with the explosive. I still don't know what cultivate do, but at one stage we might do a run where we can just, you know, grab this and see what it does. All right, you're sitting on lots of money. Let's go. Health is up 100%. We get a random artifact. Uh, these guys get multi-strike. Uh, he has armor 50, so he has actually like 60 health. These guys. These ones. Uh, at the end of their turn, they gain... If you don't kill them, they gain 3 damage. So that's 5 wolf if we enable this... 10 damage multi strikes. So that's a crap load of freaking. This is an artifact. Artifacts are nice, but there's sometimes you can uh, like you can shoot yourself in your own foot of those. Um, you know what? Let's let's skip the artifact for now. It would have been it would be very nice to get it, but I feel like the damage. Hmm. Like yeah, our champion is 50 health, and these will buff up. And we can sort of with the pawn break. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We really don't know. But the boss doesn't get um, multi strike. Although the boss doesn't really do anything special, looks like it. Like multi strike or stealth or anything. Doesn't look like it. It's just these guys. I feel like it's going to be the issue. 
It's not like gaining health or anything. Um, you know what? Let's do it. I feel like we can survive. So what we can do is this. Um, do that. And he will die? Question mark? Okay, well... First of all, we're gonna put this guy at the top, and yeah. Okay. Um, you will go. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back to you. Uh, I just want to sort this out before. I mean, this whole thing is gonna happen again. I mean, I want to start buffing these guys up and whatnot, and I want to get that, so... Oh, poop. That wasn't enough to kill it? I forgot, I didn't look at the health. Move bad. Okay, well, this guy dies anyway. Which is good. Okay. Now, uh, what we can do is this. We can kill one. No, not kill him, but we can start doing damage. He will die. And two damage is not much, though. Get him low. And... Start armoring you up, I guess? Okay. Um... Can... First of all, we can do this. That's what I want to do. Okay. You will keep this maybe up until the boss fight. Um, do that. We'll put another train steward back here. They will still die. Shoot. I don't think in this room, am I? Okay. Well, clearly we want to do this. What we can do is... Put this guy in the back. And... I don't know, fortify him up. Hmm. There's nothing we can do, really. Okay, well, we have to somehow take care of this boss. Okay. I feel like this is not gonna be enough. Nope, I think this will be the end of a, a run.
Nope. Because I made a mistake. Too greedy. Alright, well anyways. <laughs> that's it for me, people. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this run I did. Just did. Uh, made a couple of mistakes. I think, well, one major mistake of trying to go for that artifact. I should not have gone for that artifact. Uh, but yeah, maybe uh, next episode uh, we will see what we can do. Uh, but that's it for me. Thanks so much for joining me here on Monster Train. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.